Welcome back to Workshop Quick Takes. Sealed beam headlights. You might have a vehicle that still uses these. They were used as recently as less than 10 years ago on some work trucks and vans still. However, glass on the front of a unit tends to cut the light down a little bit. And you might be wondering, is there a better option? There is. You can buy kits that have a clear glass lens and then an H4 halogen bulb inserts inside and still plugs into your OE connector. No modifications required, fully street legal if you buy at the right place. So today, we're gonna look at a set. All right, taking a quick look at a halogen H4 conversion kit. In this case, it's not the round style, it's the rectangular five x seven style. Now, why the H4 halogen in particular? Well, it's because the H4 halogen bulb has the same uh, pin layout on the back as many common sealed beam headlights from back in the day. So if you've got an old vehicle with a sealed beam headlight, the lens design is not great. It tends to cut the light quite a bit. Whereas a modern design like this is able to use a clear lens and do all of the light direction using the reflector behind it, which is how most modern headlights work. So by putting one of these in your vehicle and then putting the H4 halogen bulb in front of it, you can potentially get a uh, more uniform and slightly brighter light output across the spectrum versus using the original seal beam assembly. And then of course you have your choice of what kind of bulb to put in there if you want to get into like silver stars or other specialty light bulbs that run brighter and burn out faster. but. I'm just going to go with these for now. I mean, yeah, there are all LED kits you can buy and put on there, but we're going to give these a try. Hopefully they're easy to install. And this little dust cap is going to be removed permanently and the bulb is going to swap in there instead. As always with the halogen bulb, do not touch the glass. The oils from your fingers or just the general grease and dirt you might have picked up during the day can actually create a hot spot on the bulb and cause it to burn through. These do have an orientation. It's up here, I think. Yep, one way only, so that is correct. And the way these work is they seal off facing down and uh, these little like vent tube escapes may be facing down also. So let's see if we can get it to work like this. Thank you, State of California, for thoughtfully keeping us safe. I'm hoping the connector still fits around that. It looks like it's gonna be a little tight, but only one way to find out. Unlike modern open beam headlights, seal beam lights mount from the front side. In this case, a trim panel has to be removed using two screws and then it simply pops out, exposing the mount for the headlight. However, the parking light assembly on this particular vehicle tends to be in the way of the screws for the headlights, so we'll remove that first just to free up some extra working space. Same procedure is repeated on the other side, and very soon we have access to both existing headlights. Steel beam headlights are held in place with a metal retainer. There's always a temptation to try and gain access by simply removing two of the screws and folding the tab down. This actually isn't great for the tab, and if the new headlight doesn't fit in loosely, then you may have to remove the whole thing anyway. With both headlights removed, we can now look at installing the replacement units. A small amount of lithium grease is applied on the terminals to help prevent corrosion should water get into this plug since the plug itself is not weather sealed. However, you don't want to go crazy at this stage, just a very small amount will do. The plug attaches to the new light as expected. However, we now discover that the retainer does not fit neatly over the new light. We're going to have to remove the two screws at the bottom in order to get it to snap over the existing lens. Once the retainer is properly secured around the glass assembly, the entire fixture can then be remounted using the same four screw holes that were provided for the sealed beam bulb. Once the lamp is reinstalled, the parking and third single light underneath can be reinstalled also. Before reinstalling the trim ring, however, we do want to test and make sure we connected everything correctly including low beams and high beams. Once that task is completed, the other side is finished in the same way. Once again, we have to remove the ring in order to fit it around the lens and then reinstall all four screws. 
the replacement lights will not necessarily be aimed correctly just because the previous lights were. This will need to be checked and when done, the conversion is complete. Thanks for joining us today. Hope that proves helpful to you. We'll see you again next time. Has anyone seen my phone?